Let's talk about finding the standard distance of geographic data in R. When we talk about dispersion, we're normally talking about a normal distribution centered on a number line that has some mean, whatever that number may be. And we're talking about generally moving one standard deviation or one distance below the mean and one distance above the mean. And we call this our, this is negative one standard deviations and this is positive one standard deviations, right? Everything within those two values, everything within that distance of the mean, whether it's positive or negative, falls within this range. And that typically contains about 68% of our data. 68% of our observations fall within that range. If we come out to three standard deviations, above or below our mean. This area contains almost all, 99.7% of our data. So when we talk about a standard deviation, or we talk about dispersion along one dimension, along a number line, we're talking about one standard deviation in either direction. Okay, And that's the one dimensional equivalent of dispersion. Let's look at how we translate that into a two dimensional measure of dispersion. So let's say we have these data points out in space. And I don't know if we're looking at uh, preschools or trees in a forest or places where we've seen armadillos moving into Illinois. I, I don't know what our data are here, but we have these points in space. And we've calculated a mean center, which is defined by the mean standard deviation and the, or sorry, the mean longitude. <clears throat> Let me start that sentence over. Defined by the mean longitude and the mean latitude. So let's say just as I eyeball it, it's probably somewhere in here, okay? So our standard distance is the two-dimensional equivalent of a standard deviation. We move away from that mean center one standard deviation, or one standard distance, and then draw a circle using that distance as the radius. And within that circle, we would expect to find 68% of our points. If we moved out now two standard deviations, and I'm not going to make these circles look very good, but assuming that they do look like this, um, we would expect then to find about 95% of our data within two standard distances. And if we move out to three, and I haven't left myself nearly enough room here, but if we move out to three standard distances from our mean, that should contain about 99.7% of our data. So the standard distance is literally the two-dimensional equivalent of the standard deviation. It's a radius of a circle centered on the standard or the mean center that contains 68% of our data. The equation for the standard distance is simply the sum of the deviations <clears throat> of the longitude squared plus the sum of the squared deviations of latitude divided by n, and then we take the square root, and that is the standard distance. All right, let's learn how to calculate the standard distance in R. It's actually not that bad. So <clears throat> here in this line, I have just cleaned my workspace off so that uh, you can see that I'm already in the middle of an R session. This cleans everything off so that any variables that I have created beforehand don't come back to haunt me when I forget that they're there. I'm opening up the map tools package, um, here I'm creating my random points. I'm using a random number generator to generate 20 points with a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 3. I'm formatting that as a matrix with two columns and then jump, dumping it into the spatial points function to turn it into a spatial points object. And then here I'm plotting, plotting it excuse me, with a point character equal to 16. So those are the uh, filled circles. So here is my randomly generated point pattern with 10 observations. Um, to calculate the mean center, remember we need the mean center because that's the point upon which the radius of the standard deviation is centered when it draws its circle. So here I'm pulling the coordinates out of that object, and obviously I created them up here, but um, I'm showing you how to pull them from a spatial points object. So here I pull out my coordinates. Here I am calculating the column means of those coordinates and then putting it into a matrix with two columns. Now later on I'm going to need a matrix with the means, so I could have just dumped this into the spatial points objects, but I'm creating here an object called CC for center coordinates, putting that into the spatial points 
object to create my mean center spatial points and then here I'm plotting that so when I run these we should have a red point that shows up which is the location of our mean center okay so to calculate the standard distance we need to find the sum of the squared deviations some of the squared um, yeah deviations in our longitude and our latitude so I need to do that twice so I'm going to use the apply function on my coordinates um, if I had put a 1 here that would mean the function would be applied to the rows for example if this were the 1 but I'm going to apply it to my columns and the function that I'm going to use here I'm going to put as an input is x I want to find there are my deviations from x but I need to square that See, did that end up in the right place? Yes. Yes. And then I need to sum those. Okay. So I'm finding the sum of the squared deviations of my longitude and my latitude. And you can see down here it's 34 for my longitude and 168 for my longitude, for my latitude. 168 for my latitude. I'm going to save that as. Um, uh, it doesn't matter what I call it. I'm just going to call it y. Then to turn that into my standard distance, I have to sum y's, sum up my two values there, then divide that by my n, which is, in this case, I'm just going to use the number of rows in my coordinates variable. That will give me my n. That's the number of observations. should be the number 10. And then find the square root of those data. So my standard distance in this case is 4.5, as you can see down there on the bottom. So I'm going to call this standard distance 4.5. And then to add that to my plot, I'm going to use the symbols command. Um, and the symbols command doesn't work with spatial points very well. So you have to just give the x and the y of my center point. So in this case, I have the first value in my object called cc is my longitude. The second is the latitude. I want to draw a circles. It has to be plural of circles even though I'm only drawing one. I'm going to set that radius equal to, st to the standard distance, which is what I have called my standard distance there up above on line 13. I'm going to set inches to false, add to true, and the foreground color equal to red just so that it matches the point of my mean center. And there is my standard distance drawn on that map, right? 68% of my points fall within that circle. I can keep going out to two standard deviations, or sorry, two standard distances if I want, just by multiplying that by two. And it's not going to show up, but I could also do three. And that moves me out to with all of my data should be in that point, right? So within two standard deviations here, I should have about 95% of my data. But and then within one, I have 68%. So that is how you calculate a standard distance in R.